You are now listening to the Pelicans Post Game Report. Flash Report. For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. Flash Report coming at you, man. Early in the week, some pale news to drop on the flock. So much love to the flock. Big ups to the family members supporting the stream. Please hit upon the like button. Please subscribe to the Pelican Post Game Report for all your latest Pelican news. And in this one, man, quite a little juicy tiplet of information coming from Yahoo. And this one is pertaining to the Pelicans in hot pursuit of Kyle Lowry. We'll go over the pretty much the article by NBA Sports dropping it. Dan Feldman saying that the Pelicans, man, are to pursue or are they looking to pursue Kyle Lowry now? According to the report, Lowry will be one of the top free agents this summer. The catch, he's 35. His long-term value is limited, but that might not be a problem for the Pelicans, who have incentive to quickly impress Zion Williamson. Now, according to Mark Stein, Stein said there's rising buzz in the New Orleans plans to enter the race for free agent to be Kyle Lowry, according to league sources. There will be several Lowry suitors, but it's clear why the Pels, desperate to help Zion Williamson reach the playoffs, were worn in. And Lowry's been linked to the Sixers, the Heat, and the Knicks also could return to the Raptors. There's plenty of interest in the point guard who wants to maximize his compensation. New Orleans would have to make major moves to open up enough cap space to sign Lowry outright. Possible but complicated. Pelicans could also acquire Lowry in the signing trade. Now, they even saying in this article they could even send out restricted free agent guard lines or ball in the double sign and trade. I don't anticipate that happening, but ball wouldn't even necessarily need to land in Toronto. But that type of arrangement is even more complicated. Lowry will likely come to New Orleans at a high cost, but his salary and the outgoing assets to either clear cap room or facilitate a signing trade. To some degree, the Pelicans should focus on the prime of the 21-year-old Williamson, who has many years more ahead of him than Lowry does. But if Lowry helps New Orleans make the playoffs in 2022, that'll be gratifying. Now, the Pelicans should be willing to pay some price for that. Maybe Lowry, will, you know, maybe he will lift it. But a team can't catch the right breaks in the playoffs unless making the playoffs. Many teams are looking for their Chris Paul, and Lowry could be the Pelicans' uh, version of that. Now interesting article here from yahoo sports basically covering stein's uh, tweet about the pelicans to enter the race for kyle lowry what does it mean does it mean that the pelicans are not willing to reach a deal with restricted free agent alonzo ball between the 18 and 20 million he wants 20 but reports are saying that he would be cool with the 19 or whatever are the pelicans willing to piss off zion williamson and brandon ingram who this article just slickly just you know ignores like ingram ain't a big part of the mix ingram has the 158 zion with two years left on his contract both of those guys want lonzo ball in the building now what does this mean to lonzo like i said lonzo is going to stay the pelicans will pay lonzo the necessary money what does it mean for klj if they're pursuing lowry what place does klj play in this mix is he a piece to go out uh to facilitate such a trade what do the family members think? What y'all think about this upcoming move right here between the Pelicans landing a guy like Kyle Lowry? Do you guys think we even need Lowry, man, to be honest with you? You know, how do you guys feel about that? Because the reality at the end of the day is that the Pelicans are looking to kind of add some bench protection or perhaps they're looking to add a veteran point guard that can kind of lead the youngsters here. But, uh, man, let me tell you something. If Lonzo is the guy that B.I. wants and he operates at the point guard position, you got to give him that. Now, let's look over statistics before we leave from the Pelican Post Game Report. Let's look at some of the stats pertaining to Lowry in this one. As you can see, Lowry averaging 17.2 points per game, 5.4 in the rebounds and 7.3 on the steals at 35 years of age. Still has a lot to offer and with 14 years of experience in the NBA. Maybe a one-year or two-year deal. Is it worth the gamble to bring Kyle Lowry upon the team? Uh, you know, and it is. So the big question is, how does this impact the Pelicans' uh, choice in keeping uh, Lonzo Ball? Perhaps this is a security move just in case they can't keep Lonzo Ball. But how much are you willing to pay for a Lowry versus 
Alonzo Ball. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is working out. But the rumors are starting to swirl as we get closer and closer to the draft. Uh, as we get closer and closer toward the NBA Finals, Willie Green officially, unofficially accepted the Pelicans job. An announcement is forthcoming. But as far as this report is concerned, what do you guys, and I'm talking to the flock, what do you guys think about the Pelicans uh, pursuing point guard Kyle Lowry to the mix? What does this mean for Lonzo Ball? What does this mean to KLJ? Put whatever you feel in the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts on about the Pelicans pursuing Lowry and his connection to Ball and the KLJ and the Pelicans' future moving ahead. I'm Big Q Chiming on this episode of the Pelican Flash Report. Y'all hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and feel free to share this stream on your social media, wherever Pelican people are. Man, put this in their hands. Put this on their ears. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you later. Go Pels. Subscribe now and stay up to date for all things New Orleans Pelicans.